are you busy? Yes, very. Why? I need you to help me do some filing. Um, can, I, can I wait for like 30 minutes? I just need to quickly finish working on something. If that something has to do with work, then no problem. But if it's that your blog that you keep writing and you think we don't see you writing it, it can't wait, oh. It can't wait. In case you haven't been paying attention, I accidentally started a blog about my four best friends without telling them. I'm a human being, so of course I felt a little guilty, but I never really dwelled on it because I didn't think anyone would actually read it. But then, one day, something terrible happened. Okay. Did you get all I said? Yeah, of course, of course. Good. Oh, and well done. For what? Your blog now. I saw it on Laura's uh, blog this morning. Eh? to go back to work today. Yeah, but I took more days off. Uh, Kimmy, are you so sad about the whole DB thing? You. I'm beyond that now. So, while trying to heal myself, I discovered a new level to my spirituality. Religion is amazing. And I'm trying to learn more about him. You know, Jesus. So I've been online all night, reading about the key lessons in the Bible and how different they are according to translation. Oh, that's Laura Dura's blog, Kimmy. Yeah, it is now, but it was the Bible stuff before. I never knew God was this interesting. He really is, but don't you think it's about time that you maybe get back to your real life? Or at the very least, take a shower, Kimmy. This is what life is all about, guys. Improving yourself by improving your inner fate. Forget all this nonsense like makeup and going out. This is where I'm content. Yeah. Yes. So why are you still wearing your wig? I said forget about the nonsense things. Can you see this closure here? Look at it. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, gosh. It's David again. Like this guy keeps calling me. I beg, I'm not ready to do with this. Come, mess. let's pray, let's pray. Oh. <sighs> Father Lord, I present my sister Lola before you. Please heal her from the heartbreak that that broke as David has cost her. And give her the strength to get over him and under other men. Ew, in I beg, don't pray that kind of prayer and be holding my hand. If Tonda wants to strike you, let us strike you. <sighs> so you don't know that when you pray to our Lord, you're meant to pray to him like he's your father. Kim, is that how you talk to your father? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look who's shining in the Lord today, girl. I mean, I guess so. It must be the grace of God. But also, you know, this is the face of a soon-to-be bride, so. <sighs> Esther, come on. I thought we all agreed that this fear engagement thing wasn't real. Although, the Lord is a miracle worker, but trust me, he can't help you here. Come on, you guys, none of us were there, so we don't really know what Thank happened, you. okay? Thank you. So, oh yeah, Esther, are you sure? Of course I'm sure, what kind of question is that? Well, the thing is, we all got excited when we thought it was Tunde. I mean, Esther, you have made this mistake twice. Which other time have I made that mistake? Oh. Tunde! This your watch, is not here. Please, don't keep looking. See, it's not here. Oh my gosh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come 
on, you guys. How's that supposed to know that was his mother's ring he was getting cleaned? Who drops a whole diamond ring in a box full of dead watches? It's not normal, I beg. You guys, come on, this is real. This is happening. Get excited for me. OK. <laughs> Really, guys? Really? You know what? Whatever. I'm going to go and find people that are actually happy for me. So cool. Hey, I know you. You live around here, right? Yeah, I live right here. Okay, okay. Anyways, guess what? I just got a guy! Okay. <laughs> Congrats. Uh, uh, hey, thank you. This is how better people respond to news. And I'll catch you later, girl. Okay. okay. Nice to meet you. As Esther was preparing for her nuptials, Susie had accepted that hers were over. Uh, hey. Hey. <clears throat> What's up? I have something to tell you. Okay. Come meet me in the conference room. Okay, sure. Okay. Listen, Susie, um, I hate this, okay? I, I hate not being your fiance. Oh. I've been thinking about you almost nonstop. I want this to work, I really do. Me too, I really want it to work too. But we're both so stupid, I don't even know where to start fixing this. I do, okay? I, I've been thinking about it and I figured out what our biggest problem is, trust. I mean, you couldn't trust me because I was friends with Anu and I was having a hard time trusting you because I don't really know much about your past. What? You know everything about my past. I haven't told you about that one time when I was younger and my cousin pissed me off and then I put fire ants in her bra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I mean, you were a bit of a nuisance, but that's kind of not what I'm talking about right now. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I'm talking about relationship stuff, you know? Uh, like your exes and who you dated and you know, your spec, none of that stuff. I, I don't know any of that. And it kind of makes me feel a bit un, uneasy. <clears throat> so, I think you should tell me. <clears throat> Everyone I dated in the past is irrelevant because I chose you. So why should we waste any more time talking about them? Point is, I need to know. I mean, it's, it's this thing I'm working through. It would be good for me. Actually, it would be good for us. Yeah. OK. Sure, I will. Tell you everything. Great. Good. What, right now? Yes, I mean. The sooner we talk about it, the sooner we can kind of get back to being together, the two of us. Yeah. While my friends were dealing with their messy love lives, I was busy panicking about whether they were actually still my friends. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about the coffee. Yes, I know how hot it is. I'm the one that made it. Yes, I will help. No, okay. I will pay for your dry cleaning bill. Okay, and yes, I will also help you with all those emails. Okay, fine. <sighs> oh. Marion? I've been looking for you all day. Rough day? Uh, no, everything is great. Great? Mm. Uh oh. <sighs> what happened? 
Nothing. I'm just resting. On the floor. Mm. There's Breeze. Marion. <sighs> Guess who ended up on Laura's blog this week? Oh, wow. Marion, this is amazing. What on earth are you upset about? I'm upset because every single person that I live with sends me a link to that today, letting me know that they've seen it. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. Exactly. Shit, shit, shit. I know. Shit, shit. Well, I am freaking out. I, I, nobody has said anything bad yet, but maybe they're just waiting for me to come home first. Or maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just overthinking it. Uh, uh, no. You're finished. What? You're writing about the love lives of Lagos girls without their permission. <sighs> I mean, come on now. You've been around long enough to know. You know how Lagos girls like to form private? No, but I didn't even use their names. <laughs> They'll figure it out. I figured it out. No, no, but that's because I told you. No, 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 forget. They're definitely going to be angry. I can't even begin to imagine. Come on. What if they decide to kick you out the apartment? Oh, my goodness, Wally, you're not helping me right now, please. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Susie, she's like a lawyer, right? Uh-uh. She works in finance. Ah, good. Good. Because me, I was going to say, what if she decided to sue you? Oh, my goodness. Okay, okay. I'm ah. sorry now. Sorry. No, don't stress me. Money, ah. money, money, money. Everyone deals with stress in different ways. I've tasted of your power. Kimi, you are still here. And Kimi's method was turning to God. Sort of. <sighs> Esther, when you find true peace, there would be no need to be moving up and down. What's all that? Girl, it's some stuff from my wedding now. I just came from my friend Chisun's house. She's an amazing wedding planner, so she gave me a few stuff. I'm just looking at that. Have you spoken to Theo about this yet? So say what? To talk about the wedding now. I don't understand what's there to say. Look, Theo is in a hands-on guy who doesn't like Bohala. He's done his bit by asking. All that's left is for him to show up. I see. And have you confirmed if he will show up? Kimmy, I'm tired of telling you this is a real engagement. Like, it's not like the other times. Thank you. You're here stressing me about my life, but look at your own. What's wrong with my life? You haven't left this living room for the past week. Yes, I have. I ordered pizza two days ago, but the nonsense delivery guy couldn't come into the gate, so I went to pick it up myself. Look, Kimmy, you're clearly depressed about DB. Come on, let's, let's talk about it. God forbid. Esther, you can't be depressed when you know Jesus. I'm sure even Jesus wants you to have a conversation after your married lover painfully rejected you. Look who's talking. Did you have a conversation with your lover when he rejected you? Which lover? Tunde. Look, we're not talking about Mio. Ah, this is you. Because I'm even here trying to help. I blame myself. Please, me, I'm going to see my fiance. I know you're nervous, but I also know you're not the one who's gonna clean this car later, so relax, Joe. Oh, oh my, I'm so sorry. Why, I, I just, I'm sorry. I, I just, I don't know what I'm supposed to go home and find now. You know what I do find interesting? Hmm. Even though we haven't spoken in a while, talking isn't awkward anymore. That's true. I guess maybe I've been too distracted to really think about us. And now I'm thinking about us and it's awkward. Oh. Look, let's do this. Instead of you panicking, acting all out, 
why don't we just talk about the situation? You want to talk? Okay. Well, let's see if that helps. Wale, mm -hmm. I'm still a virgin. Do you still want to have sex? Uh, yes. Okay. A great conversation. Now that's the end of it. Will you stop? What am I gonna have to do to get your mind off of this blog? I don't know, Wale, okay? You know, it's it's your fault that I'm even thinking like this. I mean, this is all your fault. You're the one who put it in my head that they might actually kick me out of the house. Before, I was just worried that maybe Kimi would cut my hair and pour diesel on my clothes or something. Ah, diesel? Yeah, well, it's Kimi. <laughs> Anything can happen with that one. Okay, look, listen to me. You wrote a blog about your four best friends. I read it, and to be honest, it's not like you beat anything up, and you didn't judge them. In fact, you showcased their low morals and bad decision-making and still managed to make them come out looking like heroes. When they read that blog, they should feel pride. After all, there's so much in the world that you could have talked about and you talked about them. In fact, they should be thanking you. Hmm. You, as you were saying that one, were you believing it? <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> I don't see the Kayana now. Maybe go ginger you Oh my goodness, now. leave me alone, Charles. Oh, look, relax. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, baby. Hi. Uh-uh. What's going on here? Oh, Are you packing your stuff so you can make space for mine? No. Why would I do that? Sure, you wouldn't do that. You would just buy me new stuff. Estelle, what are you talking about? I'm packing because I'm leaving. Leaving? I thought you said you couldn't live anywhere else in Lagos but here, except Eco Atlantic, when it's ready. No, you don't get it. I'm not going anywhere in Lagos. I'm going home. Home? For what? I thought you were happy here. Yes, I was happy. You made me happy. But now it's time to go home and get things sorted out with my wife. Your what? Yeah, you know, I've been thinking about it a lot. And no matter how hard I try to fight it, she still is the love of my life. And this is not going to change. Are you freaking kidding me, Theo? So what about this? Oh, that's nice. What do we celebrate? Our engagement, you idiot. What? You proposed to me the last time we were together. Well, when? You came home some nights, you were super drunk. I was cooking. <laughs> You're talking about how I'm so sweet and amazing. And you asked me to marry you. This night? I remember this night, what happened, babe. I proposed like a lot of people. What do you mean you proposed a lot of people? Yeah, I was super drunk. It was for my farewell party. I proposed like the bouncer, the bartender, even my Uber driver on the way back. I was wasted. So you had a farewell party, Theo, and you didn't invite me. <sighs> Esther, but no. Oh, Susie, what did you just do to me? Indians are really scary people because one wrong move and you have insulted their entire generation. But then when a man goes through the trouble of flying you all the way to the Taj Mahal, you kind of have to learn the culture. But we mainly have to go in like an upward direction, you know? But it had to be from this angle. Otherwise, we had to use the prop. And that is how I broke my arm. I mean, I completely shattered it. Okay. That's my past. So what happens now? And now, Susie? Uh, I'm going to leave. Well, thank you for taking the time to show me all of this. Uh, uh, it was quite a lot. Uh, I, I need some time. There must be a reason why the white lie is the first one we learn to tell. And what the eyes don't see, the hearts can't hurt. Maybe the U.S. Army has it just right. Don't ask, don't tell. Look what I found. 
pray your way into a new day. Hmm. Wait, for a hundred dollars? Kimi, that is just a blinged up book of Bible quotes. Why would you want that? I like it. Blinged up worship. I'm ordering it, please. Pass me my wallet. Thank you. <sighs> I don't have money in this card. Huh? No money in this one either. Even my Zion too. Guy, I'm broke. Cool. Girl, I can't remember the last time we went to work. Why won't you be broke? I need to call my boss. And most importantly, Mr. Ken. How can I be broke? Am I mad? Okay, what happened to you being too content with Jesus to worry about yourself? Uh, oh, please. Jesus did not put me and my fine week here to suffer again. <sighs> what, what, what's wrong? If I go back to work, I would have to flirt with guys for tips, and I haven't flirted with other guys <sighs> since him. What's wrong with your face? I think I just realized how badly this stupid thing has affected me. What's going on for me, eye? Ah, no, please, I beg, I beg, I beg. I'm still traumatized from the last time you cried. Please, just... <laughs> what, what happened to you? So... I told DK about my past, and now... Now I don't even know where we are. How's the wedding plan going? Fine. Neighbor girl, you caught me. There's no wedding. For the third time, I was walking around thinking someone was finally actually ready to marry me. But I was wrong. No one cares about me. No one wants my hand. Are you happy? Is that what you wanted to hear? Guys, I can explain. Don't even bother! We don't want to hear any of your stupid lies! No, but I never lied to you. You are a fucking dishonest bitch, Marion, and you know it. We let you into our lives. I let you into my home! I know. And you pay us back by what? I know. By using us as writing material for your stupid blog! I know. And you don't even have the decency to tell us! I'm so sorry. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We don't want your stupid sorry! Get out of our house! Or lost show. Oh, please, guys, okay, I, I will. I beg, I will. shut I just... up. Just shut your mouth up. And here. No, no, no. <gasps> no. Did you put this in that? Of course I did. Ah. It's like I have to use lighter. No, no please. Ah. That evening, I was so sure I was going to open the door and find exactly what I had imagined. But instead, I opened it and found this. Guys, what is going on? Okay, wait, 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 wait. One at a time. One at a time. Lola, what happened? What's wrong? <laughs> well, for once, I'm actually perfectly fine. But keep his diet crying. And then Susie came over crying. I think Esther for the third neighbor. God, I, I'm just so confused. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay. I know how to fix this. Okay, just. <laughs> Mario, look at us sitting here complaining when we should be celebrating. 
Your blog was on Laura Dura. It's true. Well done, babe. Uh, uh, th um, thanks. <laughs> I mean, how That's... big is that, right? Have you, um, have you had a chance to read it? Mm. Uh, to be honest, I didn't have the chance to. Yeah, I got caught up in the whole DK drama, so... Mm. Well, I started, but then my day just got so crazy. Yeah, you know what? Why don't you just go and read it now? Oh, no, 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 Ab absolutely not. Ah, no, now, this, uh, tonight is not about me. It's, uh, um, let's watch a movie. Let's, let's, yes, let's, I let's, agree. Let's, let's watch something very horrible so we all can laugh about it. Wait, I have a question. So why are you covered in cake? Girl, trust me. Men are scum. <laughs> People generally don't lie or hide things because they're evil. They don't do it to be spiteful or mean. Most of the time, people are just dishonest because it's easier. But eventually, the truth must come out. And sometimes, it isn't actually a bad thing. Sometimes, all the truth does is set you free. Okay. Yeah. What? That was the official door answer. Gonna... <laughs> David. David, why are you here? I haven't picked up your call for a reason. But I had to keep calling. I had to come here and I had to see you. I'm so sorry, Lala. I'm sorry about everything. I'm sorry I lied about everything, my job, my life. But I didn't lie about my feelings. I love you, Lola. I don't want to spend the rest of my life with you. And now there's no more secrets. We can actually do this for real. So please, please, please give me another chance. I'm begging you, I promise I Thank you.